Hello, my name is Jennifer Terry. I make Philippine travel updates. In this video, this video is for foreign tourists. You're watching this because you're interested to come and visit the Philippines. Well, the number one question, are we even open? Is the Philippines accepting foreign tourists? Yes, for almost two years, we were closed. But then last February 10, we opened up our country to fully vaccinated foreign tourists from 157 countries. So the two most important things, so you can enter the Philippines, you need to be fully vaccinated and you need to be a national or a passport holder of any of these 157 countries. These are visa-free countries in the Philippines, so you don't even need to apply for a visa to enter as long as you are a national of these countries. So just like ordinary time, you come here and you get a not more than 30 day stay. There are so many countries on this list that in fact, I will put the link in the comment section so you guys can check whether your country of nationality is on that list. But if you're American, Canadian, UK national, Australian, New Zealander, uh, most EU countries, you guys are visa free. Now, do you have to apply for a visa? Just like I mentioned a while ago, as long as you are a national of the 157 countries, no, you don't need to apply for a visa prior to entry. Now, is there quarantine upon arrival? No, there is no quarantine as long as you have the accepted proof of vaccination, you're fully vaccinated, then you will not quarantine. Next, is the Philippines in lockdown? Well, you may have heard the news from 2020 or even last year that we had one of the longest COVID lockdowns in the world and also one of the strictest. Well, I am glad to share to you that our cases have been dropping. You that the Philippines is at low risk. Our cases is very low right now and the Philippines is loosening up relaxed restrictions. Majority of tourist destinations in the country are open and in fact Manila and other areas, many areas in the country are under a very lax, the most relaxed alert level which is alert level 1. So you will enjoy your stay here, you will be able to do a lot of things. Visit from one area to another. If you have decided to visit the Philippines, there are six things that you need to comply to. Six things sounds a lot of things but don't worry, these are typical requirements and even other countries are requiring them. First up is you need to show a negative test result 48 hours before departure. So just take a test a day or not more than two days before your flight to the Philippines. The basis is departure, not arrival. So even if your negative test result has already passed 48 hours upon arrival in the country, in the Philippines, do not worry, it will still be accepted as long as it was valid upon departure before you left your origin country. This negative test result is required for all passengers ages 4 years old and up. If Next up, we have the acceptable proof of vaccination to be considered fully vaccinated. You should have received your second shot more than two weeks upon arrival in the Philippines or if it was J&J, &J, just a single shot. It has to be more than two weeks. Otherwise, you will not be considered fully vaccinated. That is a general rule no, for, for the world. So let's say you got vaccinated last year, 2021, 2020. That is still valid. You are still considered fully vaccinated and booster shot is not required. Two shots are enough and one shot of J&J &J is also enough. While for the accepted vaccination proof, this one is a little bit of a headache. So the Philippines are... So the Philippines is accepting three types of proof of vaccination. The first one is a vaccine PH, which is issued for those who are vaccinated in the Philippines. While for you guys, I know a majority of you are vaccinated outside the Philippines, abroad. First option is to show a national or state digital certificate issued by your foreign country, which has a reciprocity agreement in the Philippines. Another option is a WHO International Certificate of Vaccination or Prophylaxis. So there are two options. Let me be very clear. Um, Jennifer, can I just show the government issued vaccination proof that I have? It depends. It has your country should have a reciprocity agreement in the Philippines so that your vaccination proof will be accepted. So these are the 66 countries as of March 1. 
whose vaccination proof are accepted in the Philippines. So for example, if you're fully vaccinated in the United States of America or in Canada or in UAE, any of these countries I'm showing to you or in Ireland or in Chile or in Thailand, your Switzerland, South Korea, your vaccination proof issued by your countries will be accepted in the Philippines. So there are 66 countries on this list. Okay, find your country there. This is in alphabetical order. If you can find your country, then you're good to go. Your government issued vaccination proof will be accepted in the Philippines. How about if your country is not on that 66 list, reciprocity list, then you need to get in touch with your local clinic or hospital or your health department in your country to secure a WHO international certificate of vaccination just so you can present an accepted proof of vaccination in the Philippines. The Philippines is quite strict on this. Yeah, without an accepted proof of vaccination, there is inconsistent application of rules. Some were turned away, sent back to their origin country. Some underwent quarantine. Maybe Cebu would be a more relaxed port of entry, I think. Manila, I know, is really strict. Next requirement, a third one, is a common requirement for other countries as well. A travel insurance with COVID-19 coverage of at least $35,000 for the duration of your stay in the Philippines. So the Philippines wants to make sure that if, if, if you get COVID here, that you are covered. No? So it's important that you have the insurance. It is one of the requirements for foreign tourists. It will be checked by airlines and upon arrival in the country. You may have an existing insurance that you can use. An existing insurance can be used if it covers you in the Philippines and if it has COVID-19 coverage of at least 35,000 US dollars. If you don't have existing insurance that that is fit to what the Philippines is asking, then you may have to purchase one. Simply get an insurance that covers your duration of stay. If it's less than 30 days, then just get what is needed. But if you're planning to stay more than 30 days, a 30 days insurance is enough. So insurance companies that are recommended by travelers, Trawick International, Safety Wing, AXA, Alliance Travel Insurance, United Healthcare, there are so many insurances available. You can simply Google travel insurance with COVID-19 coverage. The next requirement for foreign tourists is a valid ticket for return journey to the port of origin or next port of destination, not later than 30 days from date of arrival in the Philippines. So the Philippines, since you guys are given not more than 30 days stay, right? They are assuming that you are indeed just staying for that period. That's why they are asking a ticket of not more than 30 days. But don't worry, you can stay longer than 30 days in the country. I'll tell you later. I'll explain later. Now, yes, you need a ticket, another ticket of leaving the country. So three options that I can suggest. You can rent an onward ticket. There are other websites. There are websites that do this. There's onwardticket.com where you rent a confirmed ticket to another country leaving the Philippines. Or buy a throwaway ticket you can simply buy a manila to singapore flight with cebu pacific 3000 that's what i know maybe more na ngayon but check with budget airlines manila to singapore is what i know the cheapest next is book a flexible ticket if your ticket is rebookable without fees then simply yeah rebook your ticket for not more than 30 days However, consider fair difference. Some airlines will maybe ask you for more if there is a fair difference for your, from your original flight. That can be expensive. That is why I strongly suggest rent a ticket or buy a throwaway ticket. So at any, you can go to another country. They will not ask, oh, do you have a visa to Singapore? Oh, do you have? No, no, no. They will not ask as long as you have a ticket to another country or back to your origin country for not more than 30 days. That's why I'm saying insurance for 30 days is enough because they are assuming that you are only staying there for not more than 30 days. And don't worry because even if you extend your visa, they will not ask for insurance. So the insurance is just for compliance for entry. That takes me to my next question that is commonly asked by travelers, by foreigners. Can I stay longer than 30 days? Yes, you can. Foreign nationals, you guys from the 157 countries are admitted with an initial stay of not more than 30 days. But you may apply for a visa waiver first. 
granting you an additional stay of 29 days in the Philippines. So that makes 59 days. What if you want to stay longer than 59 days? Then you can apply for an extension of your visa for one month to two months. You can all do this at the Bureau of Immigration Office. And the simple very requirements is payment, bring cash, your passport, photocopy of your passport in a form that you have to fill out at the Bureau of Immigration Office. It's very simple to apply for a visa extension in the Philippines. You can stay here up to 36 months as long as you are up to date with your visa extensions. It has always been like that and it still is unless the law changes. Next up is your passport should be at least six months valid upon the arrival in the Philippines. If you have passports there with near expiration, renew them before you travel. And then the last one is One Health Pass Registration QR Code. So this is basically just a website where you register your information. It's very simple to do. You can do this three days before your arrival in the Philippines or as soon as you receive your negative test result RT-PCR 48 hours. Upon successful registration, you will receive a unique QR code. This will be scanned. So just a quick review. These are the six things that you need. A negative test result. 48 hours before departure, layovers are not counted in that 48 hours as long as you don't exit the airport. Then we have the accepted vaccination proof. If your country is on the reciprocity list, no problem. If it's not, then get a yellow card. Passport should be at least 6 months valid at the time of entry. Easy. Travel insurance with COVID-19 coverage of at least 35000 an exit ticket to your origin country or to the next country of destination as long as not more than 30 days since arrival and then one health pass QR code that's it it's very simple entry I think the Philippines is simpler entry than Thailand <laughs> correct me if I'm wrong you don't even have to go to a certain hotel you don't even get tested upon arrival as long as you're cleared at the airport then you are good to go you go to the hotel you go to Buraka you go to Palawan, you go to Cebu, Davao, whatever. And if ever you develop symptoms within seven days in the arrival in the country, just report to the local government unit or get tested. That is the responsible thing to do. I think I have covered everything that you need to know to travel to the Philippines. You should be prepared now and ready to decide when to travel to the Philippines. I would say right now, March, is a good time to travel. We are at low risk and it's very relaxed here. <laughs> But I hope this video helped you and see you here in the Philippines. Bye!